Get ready to head into Hogsmeade. I'm Professor Vokas, and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. As you can see, I've got my coffee. Later start to the day today. Um, Islands Adventure does not open until 10 o'clock, so did not go and take advantage of early hours at Diagon Alley. Decided to sleep in a little, have a little more rest going into today. I was exhausted yesterday. So anyway, it, it just hit 10. It's just a little after 10. Stopped by to get some coffee. I'm in the parks already. The Hulk is actually right behind me. You can sort of see it through the tree. He's behind my head. Um, but we are gonna head over to Hogsmeade and check out Hogsmeade in general. Try to get on Hagrid's at some point. I'm guessing the line's a little busy in the morning now. And they'll probably taper off later in the day. But while I'm sitting here eating my breakfast and drinking this coffee, I'm actually gonna throw a Brufio's on and a tonic. Probably use it up here and then use it some walking over to Hogsmeade. So I'll meet you guys over in Hogsmeade. I haven't finished my coffee yet, but uh, emergency charm came, or emergency trace came up. So I did throw the trace charm on it. And actually, I have a story before that too, but let's finish this first and ended up hitting, uh, got a, getting a bunch of Newt Scamanders. I'm not even sure what the original is. It probably disappeared with me turning the camera on and everything. But um, I'm pretty sure I'm about to hit max rank when I go to place this image. So this is the second time I've gotten to place them, but this is probably max rank right here, I think. Yeah. Because I was at 63, and because of Newt, it just kept popping up. There you go, maximum rank reach. So I wanted to make sure I got that on camera because I've been waiting to get that one. So now I'm gonna place this image. Should get a couple more rank ups within the max rank, obviously. Oh, so you can see on the screen right now. Well, on the screen right now, you see Ministry of Magic Treasure Trunk. And then let me put on, I'll put it on the other side of the screen. So I think it's on this side then. I'll put the other rank up that I got off camera, which are not rank up, Trace Charm Recharge. I put a trace charm on um, just a high foundable because I was three out of three and I, it was exactly for the situation. I wanted to be two out of three, so I'm like, let me just use the trace charm so that if I get a recharge, I can get it. So anyway, I, I actually got a recharge from that and then I, so I was back up to three out of three and then I just used this one on, or I got this recharge on Newt. So <laughs> within a five minute span, that, which is crazy to get them. And again, I'm two out of three, so I can actually use this. Anyway, let me back out. We're still ranking up. So let me back out. Let's see what the original is, if it's still there. It is not. Yeah, the original, you know, I can't even remember what family it was. I just saw red and just boom, I hit it. And then I got all the newts and I knew that was gonna be a good good situation for me. I'm about done my coffee, so we'll walk over to Hogsmeade in just a second. All right, as you can see, I have not made it very far because uh, good foundables kept coming up, specifically uh, severe and or emergency. So one of the ones that just popped up is somebody, I haven't even placed this sticker once, um, which is Pickett. He appeared as my original. Um, I popped him, I got uh, Hermione and Victor Crumb. I got to place um, their image one time and then I refilled it a bit. Not to mention, uh, be prior to that, um, I didn't even get a screenshot of it. I actually got another Trace Charm recharge. I got another one. I can't remember which rank up it was from. But I got another one. So I literally went back to three out of three. So when Pickett popped up, even though it was an emergency, or is he emergency? He is emergency. I popped it on him and then I got the Victor and uh, Hermione. Anyway, Pickett did pop up as my original. I got all my traces. By the way, with the traces, I was able to, I, it always gives me four. I get one of them returned or it departs. Either way, and then it replenishes itself. So I'm still getting five traces when I really should only get four and the original did clone itself, which was Pickett in this case, and I had one fragment, and I got two for each of them, and which is what I'm supposed to get. My proficiency is only two for this. I haven't bothered to upgrade it. But let's go ahead and place Pickett. 52, so I'm not quite there yet in uh, Magic Zoology. I got a little, little way to go. And let's go ahead and prestige this page. Prestige this page. Congratulations. All right, I'm on bronze for Central Park. And I carried some fragments forward. I actually, it's funny, because I have some of these images were at max, and I hadn't placed them, but I'm like, oh, I'm never gonna see Pickett. I might as well place it. I'll get back up to max on fragments on them by the next time I see Pickett. And then here, I just got Pickett. But hey, I'm not, uh, don't, don't mistake this for complaining. That's awesome. Nice. So honestly, when I opened the game, the spawns were not that good, and now my tonic is even worn off, but I'm still seeing good traces. Anyway, I am really gonna start walking over to Hogsmeade now, um, but so much good stuff in the game and some good experience too. So anyway, let's start going. All right, so you can see Peruvian Viper Tooth. Let me just place this image and back out and just show you what's going on. 
Now granted, I already have that. Unfortunately, I need the whole rest of the page, but man, I'll take this for sure. It's gonna give me some rank ups. Maybe I'll get a Trace Charm Recharge, you never know. But I am getting some ministry manuals for this, even though it is on the first page, so it's the lowest number. All right, so actually my uh, original Trace has already disappeared. My original Trace was not even severe. It was just a very high, it was a yellow beam. And I went ahead and hit it with the Trace Charm because I was trying to just leave it open. I wanted to have one Trace Charm slot open just in case. And it produced four of these, which I just returned one and then now there's four more, so four total again. So I'm getting five really out of this whole deal. 20 field guides for that too. So in this particular case, I put the Trace Charm on not even a severe and I got emergencies out of it, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know it would ever bump up two levels. It hasn't, I should say, it, I didn't know it would bump up two levels because I've never experienced that. It always has been severe to emergency or emergency to emergency. Or if I did a high or a very high, it gave me another yellow beam essentially. So this is the first time I've experienced it personally. Nice, that was pretty good, pretty good hit there. All right, so I get to place this image one more time. Probably a rank up here though. Lots of opportunities for a uh, Trace Charm Recharge. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Oh my gosh, I got another Trace Charm Recharge. I'm actually, I think I'm at uh, two out of three now. I was one out of three before I got that. So let me place the image back out. Like I said, the original is gone. I probably should, uh, somebody had mentioned I should go after the original first. I have not followed their advice as I probably should have. I guess originally when you got the original, Everyone said the other traces disappeared, which they do sometimes, but that was more a matter of just restarting the game. So I think next time I will go after the original first, make sure I get that and then go. And I will say the original, I'm sitting in the same spot. It's not that it had been spawned for a long time. It literally just popped up. That's why I was ready to walk over to Hogsmeade and it popped up and that's what made me stop and go ahead and do it. So I saw it appear, not because I was walking, because it just spawned next to me, so. Anyway, my brew fields only has two minutes on it. We, I'm sure we can't cause too much trouble in that time. Let's say I'm at 234,000. I was about 190 something prior to this. So I got about 40 something thousand. Um, and I didn't even, I actually have some port keys I'm gonna open probably with this last one minute and something. A bunch of one kilometer port keys as I try to rack up uh, a bunch of the 10 kilometer port keys. So. The next time you see me, I will be in Hogsmeade, no matter what happens. All right, I am over in Hogsmeade, but I didn't just get here. I headed straight to Hagrid, mainly because the wait wasn't that long, and before you even get into uh, Hogsmeade itself, that's where the line actually forms. So I just jumped straight in the line, and then they have you put your camera away and stuff like that. Yesterday, I talked about two greenhouses, and I did actually get a leaping toadstool from them. Both of those greenhouses had one toadstool each. And I actually only got one of them. And then the other one, it was like 10 minutes later, it actually popped up for me. Because I was here and it was like 4.30 at that time, I actually went ahead and planted full yields in both of them. So later today, I should be getting 18 out of that. And then I have my in charm as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my in charm and then I can get a couple more. And we'll, we'll, we'll catch that when the time comes. Anyway, right now, let's go ahead and tour around Hogsmeade and I'll show you everything they've got here.
as you can see, Grigorovich is behind me, which means I am in Diagon Alley. I did switch positions. I am gonna go to Hogsmeade later in the day, but finish up over there. So I did the morning there, showed you the tour. I did go on Forbidden Journey. When, <laughs> when you saw the shots of that, that was me going into the Forbidden Journey and coming back out. But I did end up riding Hogwarts Express, and here I am in Diagon. My plan is to get some beef pasties and a butter beer for like kind of a snack, because I'm gonna go back over to Hogsmeade and eat at the Three Broomsticks for, uh, I guess, late lunch, early dinner kind of thing. Anyway, I'm gonna head over to the Hopping Pot and grab that butter beer. The Hopping Pot is actually a quick service restaurant that serves butter beer, frozen butter beer, uh, tongue tying lemon squash, otters fizzy orange juice. I've got the menu right here. Fishy green ale, peach tree fizzing tea, pumpkin juice, gilly water, which is just water in a, in a special thing. They actually have some different draft beers, uh, Wizard's Brew, Dragon Scale, and then some regular stuff, but those are the cool ones. And then the beef pasties, which is what I got, which is kind of a like a little pastry with some beef inside and some uh, gravy type stuff. They're a great snack item to kind of hold you over because they have, they have a little bit of substance to them. Um, they also do butterbeer ice cream and lastly, chips. Uh, and by chips, they mean like fries. New York cheddar, salt and pepper, and salt and vinegar. So that was the whole menu. Anyway, I mobile ordered, which then you don't have to pull your card out. It all becomes touchless because once you order it, you just show them your order and they end up picking up your order and then just to kind of bring it up to the counter to you and just lay it down and you can just grab it and go. Anyway, uh, they're getting ready actually to start a show over here in Diagon Alley, which I'll show you probably tomorrow or the next day. I'll show you some clips of it. It's usually kind of an acting out of some of the tales of Beetle the Bard. But right now I'm going to sit and watch this show, drink my butterbeer and eat my beef pasties. Finished up my beef pasties and my butterbeer. I'm actually headed over to King's Cross. Um, actually did take my wand out and hit all the wand spots over here just to double check that I knew them all. Tomorrow morning I'll be coming back. Certainly be going through all of those wand spots as well as the wand spots over in Hogsmeade. All right, so King's Cross right now has a 40 minute wait, which is, it's kind of a long time. Those lines definitely move slowly for sure. And I've ridden the Hogwarts Express at least four or five times already. So I think it'll actually be, I have my wand out. I think it'll be a lot quicker if I were to apparate. See you there in a second. Oh my gosh, so looks like I ended up in Seuss Landing. I did forget actually, on, on the way over I remembered that the Ministry is currently blocking apparitions into Hogwarts and Hogsmeade. So I'm just outside of the both of them. Anyway, I'm gonna start walking, it's not too far. It is time for dinner for me, early dinner, late lunch. I am heading over to the Three Broomsticks, so I'll meet you guys over there. I made it into the Three Broomsticks and I can have my mask off, which I can, can't tell you. I, I haven't experienced it yet, but I've had it on enough the last two days that having it off, it really is a big relief. It just, just to be able to breathe without having to fight through anything. But not that I won't put it back on when I go out. But um, as you can see right now in the screen, I got the roasted chicken, it comes with corn, and then it comes with roasted potatoes. Definitely a very three booms broomsticky kind of meal. It looks a lot like the roasted chicken dinner from the game itself, except I didn't have to Akio to get it. They actually just brought it to me. Anyway, two things, and it, both of them involve beer. The first one, somebody in the comments from yesterday's video asked what butter beer was and is it alcoholic? Number one, it is not alcoholic. Number two, what butter beer is in the parks? And let me just tell you, it is fantastic. It is so good. So regular butter beer, butter beer you can consider it, um, I guess, cream soda, like a vanilla cream soda. And then on top of it is like a butterscotch marshmallowy mixture. Um, and honestly, the mixture is, that's really the part that makes it. And people have tried to reproduce at home the recipe. And um, it, it just never quite comes this exactly the same, but pretty close, I guess, is what people have said. But Butterbeer at the Park, certainly just a step up. And the whole idea is that the, that little foam area, it actually mixes with the top layer. So whenever you're drinking, it's always this mixture. So, because they don't want you to drink it with the straw because then you would get it from the bottom and you're just getting the cream soda straight into you and it, won't, it doesn't mix with that topping, which is the whole point. So anyway, that's what a butterbeer is. They make it in a frozen version too. Same topping, just the, uh, the frozen part itself 
is just a frozen version of cream soda, essentially you can think of it. So anyway, they're really good and I will be getting a bunch of them. I've had two so far. I've had two regular. I actually had one yesterday after I had finished filming on the way out of the park, I decided to get one as a little dessert. And then today um, I had one with some beef pasties, which you guys saw earlier. Then the second thing about beer I wanted to say is that I am over at the Three Broomsticks, which has the Hogshead Bar attached to it. The Hogshead Bar actually has a beer, if you are old enough to drink beer. Um, they do have a beer, it's Hogshead Brew. It's only available here. They don't bottle it, they don't can it. It's not even served on draft in Diagon Alley. You have to come here to get it. Either the Hogshead Bar, which is attached to this uh, restaurant, or in the Three Broomsticks. So anyway, I did get a Hogshead Brew because I'm here and why wouldn't you get a Hogshead Brew? Anyway, I did get a table in the main room right by the hearth, which is really cool. Um, you, I'll show the shot right now. So you can see it has like the antlers above the fireplace and then the hearth itself. And then I'm actually just sitting off to the right of that, right by this window. And there's another window next to me. There's actually the Velocicoaster outside, which will be the new Jurassic Park roller coaster coming to Universal, I think next year sometime. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this meal and I'll meet you guys when I'm done. Just walked out of the three broomsticks. Meal was awesome. Definitely awesome. I couldn't even finish it, it was too much. The roasted potatoes were actually really good, but I didn't want to fill up on potatoes. I was trying to eat more of the chicken. The corn on the cob, also definitely fantastic. I highly recommend that meal at Three Broomsticks. Anyway, um, I did actually get the uh, souvenir, the souvenir Hogshead Brew mug, but I do want to go rinse it out in the bathroom here. And that's one thing also to note, and I'm not gonna film in the bathroom, obviously, but the bathrooms here at Hogsmeade have moaning myrtle in them. She'll just be saying different things. Well, it's in the guy's bathroom. I can only assume it's in the girl's bathroom, especially since in the books, it was the girl's bathroom that moaning myrtle was in. But it's in the guy's and the girl's bathroom. So if you're here, just make sure to go in there at some point, even just go in and wash your hands and you can just hear moaning myrtle in there. Um, all sorts of different quotes and that type of thing. Anyway, it's a lot of fun, but I'm gonna go in and just rinse this mug out. But before I rinse the mug out, sorry, the, the montage you just saw a second ago, Trace Charm on a Hermione and Victor Crumb ended up getting me all those young Remus Lupins. Two of them actually departed on me with a potion on the first cast, and then you saw the ones that I actually got. Um, it did end up copying itself, it cloned itself, but, but only after that George appeared, which had nothing to do with the Trace, randomly just another Legends of Hogwarts. Because when I first saw it, I thought it was the Victor and Hermione, and it wasn't. And then when I finished with that, then the next Victor and Hermione appeared. And I still have to place that image in my registry, by the way, I, I did get enough fragments for that. Young Remus Lupin did, because two departed, I did not end up getting enough fragments to place that image. Okay, now I'm really gonna go wash the mug out. Just got off riding Forbidden Journey one more time. On a full stomach, mind you, and I, it was okay though. Yeah, I think it was okay. I think it's in the morning that it really gets me. It does jerk around a lot. I would have gone on Hagrid's, but it was a 60 minute wait which essentially it's a little after five now. So a 60 minute wait would have actually pulled it right to like closing time. And I wasn't sure if it took longer. I didn't want to get out late, that kind of thing. So I'll end up riding it tomorrow, I'm sure. Plus I still have to go and harvest my two greenhouses, which is going to be like 18 toadstool. Plus I'm going to put the greenhouse charm on it. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest that toadstool and probably gather up my stuff and head out and call it a day. All that being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Knox.